So every single attribute and quality of God, it would also make sense, has its own odour, its own colour, its own, and it's all substances that can be felt from God and, and are in fact felt from God. So let's, if we examine the quality of love, the quality of love, if we're talking now about divine love, it has a, so this is a love that can only come from God's soul. It can't come from a human soul. Even if you, as a human soul, have it within you, it still cannot come from you. Um, you can't refer God's love onto somebody else, as a lot of people on, uh, who, who are interested in new age stuff think that they're able to do. Um, it's only the natural love that can do that. You can, only, you can only give your love to somebody else. And in fact, I can't even give your love to somebody else here. Like, I can't give your love to Anto. You can only give your love to Anto. Does that make sense? And it's the same principle with God. Only God can give her love to you. Nobody else can do it for her. There's no mediator in the process. There's no person who's a middleman in the process, which is great when you think about it because you know you're having a personal relationship under those circumstances. So with the divine love, this is the love that comes specifically from God and has the ability, given certain conditions, to enter the human form. Or, and when I say the human form, the soul being the human form, the human soul. And that love has characteristics and attributes of its own, which are very, very different to the characteristics and attributes of what I would call love, that is, natural love. So natural love has certain characteristics and attributes, Right? that are different, although sometimes similar in nature, but they're different. They have different colours, different smells, different uh, tastes, different, different um, uh, sounds than what comes from God. Right? And, of course, uh, we have the ability as a human race uh, to, to investigate these matters and see them actually occur as well.